Um, I know the bib is obvious, but I couldn't find a way to cover it because I don't have a lot of jewelry after the ones I had to discard from the fire. But hello. It's almost Easter time, so I thought I would bust this out. Sorry, it's it's my bra. My bra was feeling a little weird. Sorry. How we doing? Oh, I almost dropped my stole. And Buzz, thank you so much for gifting some subs because of my boobs. I mean, I mean, because you like me as a content creator. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. How we doing today? What's up? What's the tea? Happy almost Easter, everybody. You could have just said that and I, it would have been a pun on itself, Ken. <laughs> Thanks. Awooga, awooga. <laughs> I thought I would bust it out to hopefully get some tips today because I like money. Maybe fill up my Easter basket if you know what I'm saying. There goes the monetization already out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I thought it was Easter time. Well, it is Easter time. First time ever, like it's happening in March. So I was like, Going through my pink outfits, because I have all my pink, like, stuff from my drag closet laid out for this series. I was like, well, Easter is tomorrow, so let me wear this, I guess, right? So, busted this out. Um, I'm sorry I'm not wearing um, nails today. I don't know if this kind of goes with the look. I know it's a different pink. Um, but I have, like, a bunch of cuts and, like, wounds on my fingers. I don't know. Like, I just, I have, like, band-aids all over my fingers, because, like, I don't know. It, my fingers are not doing well. I would let you step on me. That will be five subs. <laughs> no, you're worth. So true. Do I mean mini eggs? Because I'm huge. No, felt that. It's you, but the boobs are giving. Thank you. This look eats. Thanks. Hi, safety. Hi, everybody coming in today. Happy Easter, because um, if you're watching the VOD, it's probably Easter. And if you're watching on Twitch, it's almost Easter. So celebrations and salutations. Thanks, guys. I feel it. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I'm kind of going through a lot of stuff, like, personally. But I'm glad we have the Nemesis Network and the Twitch channel to... Um, you know, uses my outlet and my resource to distract me from the nastiness. Thank you, Game Over. Thank you for getting five subs. I love money and I love you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, if you got a gifted sub, please say thank you to Game Over. Hi, Maddie. Um, I'll probably rant about it later in the VOD about, like, my personal stuff. Like, it's, like, my business and, you know, whatever. I always, like, overshare, but... We'll go into it later, but I um, appreciate y'all hanging out and spending time with me. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying the VODs. Also, if you're watching on YouTube and you guys are curious about a game that I've played, go through my playlist section um, and or just search my name and then the game you're looking for. Because a lot of people on my YouTube channel are new to the YouTube channel and I have over 500 videos. So I've probably already played your favorite game. If not, I'm probably going to. A lot of people are suggesting Rumble Roses, and we played that in Fighting Funsies on my channel. Um, and I think I literally wore this exact outfit when we played it, so. <laughs> um, hi, Michaela. Hi, um, Mamu. I know. Well, I always give myself, like, props, because, like, I literally was streaming during when I was like ho um, basically homeless during the house fire last year. And while I was in Australia sick with a 102 fever, I streamed on a laptop. Like I, I put, I do the work. I, I make sure y'all get the content from any area you want the content. I make sure to provide it. 
But yeah, we are on floor four today. Floor four, there are five floors and then all of the basement challenges. So I think this is the second to last stream, which is unfortunate. Um, we will do floor five. Maybe I'll like chop it up that we do the basement challenges in one final stream, but maybe I just kind of want to, you know, unfortunately wrap a bow on it. I don't want to, but I, I we are nearing the end. There really aren't any spoilers. It's not like anything that serious. Um, but yeah, it's a cute fit. I would, it's like a Wario outfit. I would, I much rather if there was like orange accents, so it could be like a summery dress. You know what I mean? But yeah, how's everybody doing? Also for anybody on YouTube, if you are not subscribed on Twitch, if you can't make the streams, um, feel free to subscribe on YouTube. You get emotes to use in the comment descriptions of the videos. Uh, you get access to old videos that I have never posted on my YouTube channel. They're kind of archived videos and makeup tutorials. Uh, it really helps the channel if you do that. But if you are a supporter of the channel and just want to participate in, you know, being a supporter, go over, log into Twitch, subscribe, and keep it going. Even if you can't, you know, make it out to streams or if you're a lurker, I really appreciate it. Uh, it definitely helps with my analytics helps with me getting jobs it helps with you know keeping my lights on getting new drag i know y'all love the looks but drag is expensive <gasps> oh look at this oh cute cowboy carter <laughs> Lovely. yeah i definitely do think it should have gotten a longer runtime but you know we can do what we're doing no literally well, it sucks that they don't hire girls at Hooters that have tattoos. Like, what? Hey, I'm repping Cowboy Carter today, even though I was the cowboy last stream, but the album is really good. It's like not even just like, it's not even just country. You would be shocked. She literally has an operatic song. It's like wild. I streamed, I listened. Spaghetti and um, Yaya yeah, yeah, are probably my favorite on the album. And then Daughter is just, the, the transition between Daughter and uh, Spaghetti is wild, but I love it. She's so funny. She said, I'm gonna do this operatic symphony and then I'm gonna transition to this nasty, I'm gonna spit some bars and get nasty with it after I Preach. Like, I love it. She's, I love her. Beyonce never change. Hi, new man. Um, so, yeah. We have lots of sequels here, but we have the last form change. So... Um, I think the only option to do is that we go look at this new form change, shall we? This is the final form change. The new hoodie, and it's $125. That's crazy. I love you, Beyonce, but not too much now. That's a little too much. You know what isn't $125? Nemesis Network merch, available on nemesisnetwork.threadless.com. And you can get a hoodie for about $30 or maybe even cheaper if you're a subscriber. <laughs> When she turns into Kung Fu Panda. <gasps> Wasn't there a new Kung Fu Panda movie recently? <laughs> I'm gonna miss a secret. I know they're hiding something. What are you hiding?
It's probably just you, Diva. Thanks, Hamza. Yeah, let's remember the rule to always refresh our stream before we make those accusations and give me a heart attack. Because I struggle with tech issues every other stream. Speaking of... Okay, just dropping my phone. Didn't want it anyway. The way she dances is hilarious. Oh, someone already redeemed it and I didn't do it, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Something about me, something about the channel points never clicked with me. I don't like being bossed around. <laughs> like, I, I just think that's weird. I don't know. I was never like, that was never that girl in school. I didn't like being bossed around by teachers. And being like, Nam, go eat a vegetable. Nam, do a jumping jack. Nam, do a dab. I'm like, I don't, how about no? <laughs> I'm not a fucking animal in a zoo. I don't know, nothing. I. They really need to rework that, I think. Why is he not dying? Nem, do a blue lip. Oh yeah, that's definitely what I want to do. Yeah, but then you would spam the sound commands and it would be so distracting and obnoxious. I agree. No, clock that T. Can we pin that message? <laughs> well, because like we did sound commands before, like back in 2020 and then everybody spammed them and then every single one got tired and annoying. So. Oh. <laughs> It's like, I have to protect my own peace. Um, Real Mystery, thank you so much for the raid party of four. Welcome in everybody, I'm Nem, we're streaming, hello. Nice to meet you. The conversation's already over, I'm not adding sound. I already have sound commands for all the subscribers. You want me to do more work? For what, for me to get annoyed? I already added a slew of sound commands and you guys don't even use them. What do you mean? <laughs> you want more. Oh, y'all already pissed me off and I just started. <laughs> and I got the titties on for y'all and y'all already already starting. Hi, Magic. Oh God, there's something in my eye. I don't know, I was thinking about it too earlier, like before I even started stream. I was like, <laughs> like I usually protect, like I, streaming is supposed to be fun, right? Like, straight, like you need to protect your own peace when it comes to streaming. So like, you know, other people can have their own gig. They can, they can have their fun, do whatever they want, have a good time. I need to protect my own peace or I'm not gonna be pleased. So like, I do, like, I never raid people. I know that might sound greedy, but, like, protecting my own peace, I think I said it in a recent stream, is, like, I don't look at the numbers. And if I raided somebody, I would unfortunately see the numbers. I don't like looking at the numbers. I don't, I don't like it being a numbers game. So, like, I don't raid people. I don't have a bunch of, like, I don't have the, I used to have a sub counter on the stream for each stream, like, make this many subs. Like, I, I don't like that either, because then that, like, I don't know, that makes it, like, oh, we need to hit that every day. I feel the pressure of that. 
I don't know. I'm not that type of girl. Like, protecting my own peace is very important. Because then, like, the content's not fun. It might not be good in terms of monetization. Because, like, I could probably be making more money. But, um, I'd rather, you know, protect my own peace and not be a grumpy old bitch. I have to restart the level. I think I got too distracted. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh! No, we're gonna do one more after today's stream, and then that'll be probably the end of it. Oh. I'm probably gonna have to restart the level. Like, I'm gonna find a star and then... Like, if the next one is... I'm just gonna restart. This is the last transformation, y'all. This is the last one of the entire game. Oh, the red eyeshadow. Oh, you ate that. I will be honest, not my favorite. I think the mug and the hair is correct. Not really thrilled about the outfit, but. What makes me, I think what? I think what? mostly bothers me is that her outfits, her wardrobe in Mario Odyssey when she was traveling the world, she had different outfits and they were all like cute and they had the introduction of pink. I wish we got more of that in this. Like who was the costume designer in Mario Odyssey? We needed them here. Oh. Because they all fit the theme, and like I understand like wanting variety, but like I don't know, I would have liked the introduction of a little more pink in some of the outfits. Am I is that so crazy? Like she is like one of the defining women that defines pink, in my opinion. There's Barbie, there's Peach. Each Odyssey, real dream. No T, wake that up. Oh. Oh, we don't have to restart. That's really shocking, actually. Princess Bubblegum down. Even though I never watched Adventure Time. Ooh, drag me. Yeah, like, I don't hate them. Like, there's still great outfits and looks, but... I may... You know... Eyelash Crow. Thank you for saying hi to the boobs. Everybody forgets that the boobs have feelings too. <laughs> oh, they were gagged a bit. I would like to finish this level first try. So let's see. Thanks. I feel it. I feel good. Earlier today, I was uh, fighting some old hags on Facebook, and I feel good. I feel great, actually.
feel like I'm gonna miss something here. Press B at the right time to kick. This quick time. Why'd she gag him so fast? Uh oh. Any crossovers in general or with this game? Nintendo could, but I don't know if they will. I hope they do, Crimson. But, like, again, like, I think this is at the end of Nintendo's, the Switch life cycle, so... I don't know. And since it shows so short, too, I'm scared that they're like, we don't give an F, you know? Hey, losers! Streets are saying Stellar Blade is really good. I'm excited. Wake it up, game over, wake it up. That's it. I'd like to see Mahoyo do more crossovers. It's kind of irritating that they haven't. They did Horizon Zero Dawn and then never did anything else with crossovers. Like what? They act like they don't have money. As if they're not a billion dollar company. Okay, well that wasn't very nice. I'm just gonna... Punch me! Okay, period. Yeah, that'd be nice, Leho Star. That'd be really nice. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Oh, me killing my friend. Uh-oh. Do I still have the gem that was up there? Marshall's dog's name is Gem. <laughs> I already lost. So where was EO last night? Just, just wondering. Like, why was she missing? <laughs> what happened? I think this is the first year in the last couple of years that I'm probably not gonna watch WrestleMania live. Uh-oh. I like know the outcomes. I'm not gonna sit through a five, six hour show to watch the men be annoying. And then, you know? Hi, Gainies. really going on here. Oh. Yeah. 
Hi, cultist. I did see the winner. Um, happy for them. But, uh, yeah. Hi, potato. Oh, you ate that. Okay, not a broke girl. You ate that. Finally. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you for subscribing. No, I mean, we all wanted... We all wanted you know who to win. And, uh, she didn't. Which was kind of irritating, but... Um, she's just gonna win All-Stars 10, and that's just T. And I'm fine with that. Oh, she's mad. You hear her? Oh, come on! Oh, my God. Relax. I'm sorry, Peach. My bad. My bad. She mad as hell. Oh, me and her would be nasty to the men. I'm gonna be honest, I've been fighting a lot of my family members on Facebook for the last couple days, and it's been so therapeutic. Like, I literally don't even care. You dis- Just irritating. Like, I just like... So here's gonna be me venting on my open forum because it is my stream so I can do what I want. But like, it's so irritating like to just hear them speak so ignorantly. ignorantly. Like, everybody knows I had a house fire last year. And Very good tea. it's just irritating that these old hags that have no... They don't know what's going on. They don't know the anything happening with our house and the insurance and the money we get and having to rebuild it. And they're like, they're up in Facebook like, oh, they could have fixed it. Oh, they could have done this. Oh, they could have done that. They could have done this and that. You don't know. I also, I also clocked them. I said, you didn't donate to the GoFundMe. So why the fuck are you talking? I literally said that. I went, why are you talking? You, I didn't see a GoFundMe uh, donation from you. So why are you talking? So why are you talking? Like, the house literally was unlivable. Like, not only... I love that house. Like, that house is where my dad raised my sibling and I. Like, that house is, like, one of the last connections I have with my father. Because my father passed in 2011. So, like, obviously, you know, I'm hurt. Like, I wanted to stay living in that house for my entire life. I wanted to raise my kids there. But if we can't do it, we can't do it. The house was over 200 years old. The fucking inside of the house was like not only just the room where the fire started, which was in the back of the house. Since the fire happened and there was so much smoke, soot covered the entire house from the front porch to the kitchen. The kitchen was destroyed. From the kitchen to the dining room, the popcorn ceiling, because it was an older house, was destroyed. To the to the living room, like the little room, and then it up the stairs, and then into the bathroom that was open. So all of that, imagine having to pay all of that to fix that. And they just don't understand that, which is crazy to me. Like, there are pictures online. They know that it's terrible. They're like, they could have fixed it. They could have fixed it. Okay, where's your donation? Are you going to pay for it? Are you going to pay the hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix the house? Oh. I don't think so. I don't think so. And, and on top of that, these bitches that are nasty on Facebook, I haven't heard from them since like, I don't know, 2011 when my dad died. I've never heard from these people in my life. And they have so much to say about the house I was living in and my dad gave to my mother after he died. Oh. So why are y'all up in our business? Like, you don't know. Also, another thing, my dad, when we moved away before, you know, he passed away, he said, I want to leave this town to get away from my family. I get it. Because some of these bitches are nasty and rotted. I understand it. 
And the same people that are talking nasty were nasty about my mother when she got remarried. And on top of that, they were nasty about when my father was literally... I learned about this the other day. Okay, we're getting very deep here on the pod. I learned about this the other day that my father's cancer, when he passed away, it started as lung cancer. I literally learned this. I Like, he died, like, almost 10 years, over 10 years ago. I found out the other day. His cancer spread from his lungs to his entire body. I didn't know it went to his entire body. Like, I was, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I didn't know it spread. Like, he had six months to live, and then it went, he only had two, he only lived the two months. Like, it spread to his entire body. Like, it was bad. So, these same people were mad at my mother for multiple things. Always mad at my mom for doing the right thing. My mom does the right thing. So when he, you know, was in the hospital bed dying, we had to, you know, we wanted him to get down easy and not in pain. So there's things in the hospital to help someone die easier. So they were mad at my mom because of that. What, like, Which is like, why are you mad? Like you wanted him to be in pain and, you know, like, why, why do they always have something to say about my family? What, what? You guys are fucking in Missouri doing fucking shit in the fucking cornfields. Why you got shit to say to me and my family and our business? And they're up on Facebook. Hokey, 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 ho. Why are they doing this? Fuck you. Literally, fuck you. Most, like... I don't want to get too rotted on the pod, but first of all, my dad would not be happy with these women that he's related to for what they are putting us through. Second, because they're in our family. Second of all, they are bitter, old, disgusting, ignorant hags. Well done, mama. And that's tea. And today, one of them was like, they replied to my, like, thing, because I was like, I didn't see you donate to the GoFundMe, so how do you think the house was going to get fixed? Stay out of our business. And she goes, I wasn't talking crap. Like, I'm not on the internet talking crap. Why are you attacking me for no reason? I was like, oh, no reason? I have plenty of reasons. I've had years of reasons. I can give you plenty of reasons. Do you want one? She was like, okay, please tell me. And I was like, okay, here's the reasons. And then, like, I let her have it. And then I was like, have a blessed day. Have a blessed fucking day. Have a blessed fucking day, you piece of shit. Am I crazy for feeling like that? I feel like I'm crazy. Like, my poor mother has to deal with this bullshit. She's like, I don't give them attention. I don't want to, like, reply to them. I'm like, I will. You don't deserve it. My mother is a nice woman and one of the hardest working, strongest women of life. She's had her mother and her father pass away, her husband. She's dealt with so much crap in her life. Like, I will stick up for mama sis. Like, these people need to get off her. I remember when she got remarried, the same people that are giving us shit right now that I was clearing, they were like, oh my God, she's ridiculous getting remarried. How dare she be happy? She's so, like, they were talking crap about her on Facebook. Like it was a fucking message board. I remember it like it was just yesterday. I was like, talking crap about my, my, my mom. Y'all can go fuck yourselves. Sorry, that's my trauma dump, but that's what I'm dealing with. Not only the fact that I'm dealing with, you know, my childhood home that I have the last connections to my father about, people having their fucking say in it, in my family, being ignorant old hags, as if it wasn't already stressful enough. Just irritating. Like, I'm fine. But, like, if I could go up to these people in real life, they should be scared because I would cuss them out. They would get gagged. I kind of want to go to the next family party just to, like, show up and make them scared. Like, I, I'm not going to get violent, but... Just to, just to, you know, you're going to get cleared. I will fight you with my words. Oh, I did. Receipts, timelines, screenshots. Oh, I have them. I made sure. Oh, 
Aww. On that note, how does it feel to be the most beautiful woman on Twitch? Thanks, Jay. I appreciate it. Sorry, I was ranting, so I didn't... I saw all your messages coming in, but I was too busy ranting. Sorry for your loss. Oh, it's fine. I'm over it. <laughs> I would like to get a tattoo for my father, but um, I want to get, like... Because we have a note with his signature on it, but, like, I can't do that because, like, you know, people would probably dox me. Um, Don't be sorry, occultist. It's okay. They're acting like they own the house. No, literally acting like they own the house. Like, girl, please. Yeah, hospice stuff. You're right. That's what it's called. Looks like I'm not everyone. Didn't know you had a house fire last year. Yep, GoFundMe is still up if anyone wants to give us fucking money because it's rough out here. I hope they do too. Please. Oh, I never, I never considered these women my family. They're always weird AF. Unfortunately related to them, but you know. What? Oh, now you're doing too much. You're doing too much because you know you're about to get banished. Oh, gag him again, Peach. Oh, did I get 100% first try even though I was ranting? Okay, not me clearing that. My mind. And look at how she ate that. The amount of product I put in my hair to not be frizzy, and then it continues to be frizzy. I'm shocked. This is shocking news. Shocking. I'm shocked. I think, honestly, Figure Skater is my favorite out of the entire game. We're going to do a tier list at the end. I actually like my roots growing out. I think it gives my hair, like, something... I don't know. I like the dirty blonde. Like, I think maybe next time when I go, I might get, like, some low lights and, like, go kind of, like, very dirty blonde, like, Christina. I think that would look hot. Prefer is like the wow spray that you put in your hair after you shower and you use a hair dryer. Well, I usually blow out my hair. Let's go. Maybe that could be good. Is this the detective rerun? I didn't even look at it. Yes, it is. Like I put in like the frizz shine pantene bullshit, whatever that is. Do my boobs look okay? Am I okay? I feel like something's like coming out, but my nipples are like at the bottom of my, my like where my stomach is. So I think I'm fine. I was gonna say my nipples are at my chin, but I don't think that's a fact. A good assistant has arrived at least five minutes early. That's why I'm already here. Anyways, I have a tip about a possible suspect wandering around the city. Apparently, he walks this very path every day. So let's see if we can get a sharp eye out. Ah! Oh! Please? <gasps> yeah, I use like the most expensive products and they just like don't work. So I'm like, oh. You 
You can't see me. Hey! Well, fuck this guy! What the fuck is your problem? No, why did he move it? Like, why would you do that? Wait, there's actually something here. There's footprints. Stop! Let me do it! The way I guessed. Queen on this house? Okay, I guess not. I love everything he paints, but this is. He's finding the real painting. How would I know? One of the three paintings was done by the legendary Mira. It's miraculous. I'll give you a prize to figure out which one it is. Okay, well, I don't know. The painting of the castle was done by someone using my name. Don't be fooled. Who am I? Just an artist of no importance. Well, now I think it's the... How are you supposed to find out? What? How are uh, that? It's the castle. He's baiting us. He's the miraculous. Great, uh, great gowns, beautiful gowns. I'm not gagging. So I haven't gotten a star yet, which is a little concerning to me. Anybody else a little concerned? Thanks, Fairy. Check the puddle. That might have been me. Indeed. Oh. Oh, 
don't even think you can interact huh? with it. Well, I guess there is nothing, because there's nothing else to interact with. Oh, so now you want to move it. Okay. Oh, God. See, I won't be fooled. Look, they just tried to bait me. A toad got sucked out of the building. <laughs> toad literally got eviscerated for no reason. Actually, what is your problem? I hate these guys. These big nose, fucking ugly ass, wannabe Yoshi's Island bitches. I hate all of you. You all piss me off. And I usually like a big nose. A man with a big nose, love it. But these bitches, enough. I'm sick of y'all. Well, not too much now. Waluigi does look like my ex-boyfriend and my boyfriend looks like Waluigi, so I'm not thrilled with that. That's not even a joke. Like he like actually is like the spitting image, image of Waluigi. Okay, I literally haven't gotten a single star yet. So like, where are they? What are his contact details? Well, um, he is in another relationship and toxic and terrible. So, and he knows that. So I hope that person's very happy. <laughs> Where the fuck was the first one? I see. I do see. You're the star. Thanks, Dylan. Okay. So, where was the first? Would you like to tell me? Yeah, it fell because you pushed it over because you're annoying. Don't be sad because it fell over. Dumb bitch. My god. No, because actually, where would it be? Like, I don't even know. Can I go in here? Yeah, coins fell out of it. <laughs> I'm hot! I'm angry! <laughs> I'm heated, duh. Okay, we restart the level. Oh, well, you guys are a couple seconds too late. People hiding undercover. That's okay, I'll take my apology in Bitcoin. Just kidding. What the fuck ever, like, I, I just never understood, like, why do people ever invest in Bitcoin, like, actually? Or like NFTs. That was literally the dumbest shit anyone has ever done. Hello, Dubai. Yeah, Jordan Sparks, I'm looking at you. I know you bought an NFT and you were happy about it. <laughs> I won't forget. Oh, 
Oh, I remember. She was real pleased. <laughs> what is the thing you invest in and then it is it stocks i never understood those either Crimson, did you change your Twitter username? I think it's funny when sometimes you guys have different usernames on Twitch than you do in other apps, so then I just get confused and lose my mind. <laughs> Okay, T. I was like, did you, like... <laughs> My community is literally just twinks, stoners, lesbians, and other trans people, and silly bitches. The five horse people of the apocalypse. <laughs> Oh, well, I would change that. Maybe not announcing that, you know, your government name is your username is the best idea, but. A twink with a fat ass. Oh, that's not. Do those exist? Okay. Crimson, save that for the alt, honey. No one's been this way. They went into an apartment. Oh, that's... I need that Megan the Stallion clip for the soundboard. Do you like girls? <laughs> uh. mm. uh -huh. Oh, you don't need to type in all caps, honey. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean to press that button. Every time I press that wrong button. Here, I'll say it because Crim this one's for Crimson. <laughs> the alt is good food. That one. Now I have a purpose for it. I've been pressing that button for wrong for like the last week and a half. Or I could comment on the twick, not the twick, the twink with the fat ass and then do this. <laughs> I keep fucking, I need to add images to the soundboard because I keep losing it. I just, I can't figure it out. It's too much. Can I go back upstairs? Indeed. It's for a bit. I mean, I used to be a twink with a fat ass, then I started estrogen, and now I am a girl with a BBL and I'm not a twink. I've gained some weight. <laughs> My twink era was something, something serious. I thought I was trade. I thought I was, I remember I would grow out like my facial hair, like right here. 
And I thought I, I thought I was the one. It was, it was not. And I would never shave it in drag. I don't know why. My mom would clock me. She'd be like, do you want to be a bearded queen? I was like, ah! I'd be like, mom, stop. Gaines, I'm going to say this very respectfully. The all caps. Oh, that's not. Oh, we can, uh, the, the caps lock button. Thank you. I just don't like being screamed at. Cindy, this is a, that's literally that picture of the skeleton in the underwear, the Chromatica jockstrap. If you see his profile, I love. What was that quote? Uh, Kylie Sonique Love said on um, Drag Race. I can look. I can look at the map, but doesn't mean I'm going on the trip. <laughs> Um, not we can tell, not too much now. Hi, Shadow Fox, how you doing? We're okay. I don't want to have a little more energy in me. Like, I want to have more of an energy drink. Girl, when you find that alt for somebody that you think is hot, it gets so serious. <laughs> I also love that recently, like, a lot of, like, like, alt, like, people that do videos and stuff, like, redacted fans follow my socials. There's this one Oh my god. I don't know if he watches the VODs. He watches my Instagram reels. His name's like Frank. And he is so hot. I was like, thank you for following me. I love when they follow and they support the dolls. I love when they support. I love when the hot 18 plus creators on Twitter follow the divas and the dolls that aren't on Drag Race and support them. That? Sweet. That's pussy. Love that. What is the current investigation? It's also crazy, like, I think about it all the time. Like, cause you know, I do Twitch and YouTube. Like when I went out to the, um, the club with Marisol, I felt so, not like that I feel restricted on Twitch, but I felt so free. Cause like, I say that with, you know, my boobs almost out today, but like on Twitch and YouTube, there are so many restrictions sometimes on like what you can say, what you can talk about, some words you can't say, some outfits you can't wear. Like I miss my era when I was like at the club, like wearing like a jock strap and like a bikini set and just like being like that girl in my early twenties. Like I just like, I miss it. And I don't know, it's like, I forgot how drag queens and like gays talk in the club. Like we were all, we were, sp we were spooking the divas in the club. We were like, oh, he's hot. Oh, he's hot. Oh, that dancer looks good. Like it's so crazy to be in that environment opposed to Twitch and YouTube all the time. Like it was nice to like, you know, feel like I was, I don't know the words to explain it, but if you know, you know, they're just two different environments. It was refreshing. Cause I like to look at the menu, but I, I don't have to order things on the menu, honey. <laughs> they asked me if I wanted to be a go-go dancer. I said, I'm good, I'm okay. Everyone kept going, girl, are you padded? I was like, no, I'm not. And they were like, do you wanna like get booked here? I was like, well, yes, but I thought it was funny. 
I did feel, it felt great to get compliments on my body because I was very body dysmorphic. They were like, girl, are you padded? I was like, no, this is, this is my body. I do want to get pads though. I think it would look so hot if I brought back the blue era of when I did blue makeup, if I got stunning custom pads to give me real hourglass figure. Cause when I do the blue or when I did the blue aesthetic, I would wear a morph suit. So, you know, when like someone on drag race or like someone on social media, they'll do like a different color face and they won't like do their neck or their hands or whatever. 10 out of 10 buy a morph suit. Cause like that changes the game. Like I love like full body. That's your, your tone. Like it's like you put that on. I feel like I'm talking to myself here. No one's going to really understand, but um, yeah, I would love to have like a real, just like, and then curves with pads under like because i put the morph suit on uh it would be so wouldn't that look so hot i think it would look amazing <laughs> like i want like juicy pads I did a while ago. I did um like a clown series that I did every color. It was when I was going through my like serious breakup with the ex-boyfriend I was talking about earlier. But like he kind of broke my heart. He was like my first love. We were high school lovers, whatever. But I did, if you scroll to my Instagram and look all the way down, I did like clown looks to represent and help me get through it. Like making art out of the pain. So like I did pink for like love and desire. I did blue for sadness. I did yellow for anxiety. I did um, green as like envy. I did red as anger. Like those are some of my favorite looks. They're really far down on my Instagram cause it was so long ago, but I have done fully pink. I also did fully pink when my friend drew me a picture of myself and she made me like an alien and she made me pink. So then I painted myself pink and recreated it. I do need plain Jane pads. How much are they? I think Marisol referred me and Marisol's pads are good. Um, usually a good set of pads is like 150 to 200, which isn't terrible. Like my titty bib is, I would say this is a pretty good titty bib and it was like 150. So not terrible considering, you know, custom wigs are, you know, upwards to $400, $500 nowadays. So if you can get the body tee, the way I have a custom wig too that I've never worn, I got it done for this Halloween look last year and we never did it. I might bust it out for Stellar Blade. I have this gorgeous custom wig that's like, it's platinum blonde and it has black streaks in it. And it's like, it's really pretty. I just don't know how to describe it, but yeah, it's literally a fully custom wig and I never wore it. It's just sitting in my house. Yeah, I got it for Halloween and then I was gonna wear it with, I don't know if you remember the outfit that I wore when I met Lily, Frederick and Victoria, the TwitchCon dress, like the gorgeous gown that's like spider woman-y and I wore spiders in my hair. I got it for that because it gave very Spider Woman. Uh, but I never wore it because it was too small for my head. So like I couldn't wear it in public, but I could definitely wear it on stream because like you wouldn't see the back of my head. <laughs> right now, the back of my head looks suspicious right now, too. These extensions are not perfect, but we are just inside. So. Thanks. I usually don't like wearing that color blonde, but I actually really like the makeup of that video. I, I, you know what I did the other day? I, um, I searched my name on Reddit, which I wouldn't recommend anybody does, but I did. Um, I saw somebody say, someone spilled the tea that I don't like Throb Zombie and then they got downvoted, which like, okay, 
I, whatever. I, I, I can like, I can like or not like people. It's okay. And then, um, someone was like, we're asking for like YouTubers and like so many people recommended me and they were like, yeah, Nem's a great like low key variety streamer. Like she's super chill. I'm like, thank you. But is that true? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I'm chill, but I appreciate the compliment and the referral. Oh, it is the bomb. It is the tower. For real? I mean, T, I am very real, and I think that's what's stopping my opportunity status. That's why I don't get invited to shit anymore, because I keep it too real. But then, like, why... Then, wh who would I be if I wasn't real? Like, if I just lied to you guys, that would be like, what? No shade, I wouldn't lie to y'all for money. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I've ever lied for money. Don't think I ever will. Um, I usually get a lot of my drag from Fashion Nova. Um, I think that's where I got that dress. I think it's available in pink and green right now. I saw that there's different versions of it. If I ever got on Drag Race or Dragula, I would be wearing a Fashion Nova collection. <laughs> Oops. Well, I meant like lied in terms of like, like I've lied for money. Like I, I messaged a couple of my ex-boyfriends a couple months ago and told them I was gonna suck their straws from their drinks very respectfully Sweet. um and then just took the money and ran but i meant in terms of like sponsored and product <laughs> like i wouldn't like refer something that like i wouldn't approve on if you know what i mean Have lied on a resume though. <laughs> Not proud of it, but my resume now is stacked. Back in the day, I lied a lot. Which is advice, but also not good advice. But good advice, not good advice. <laughs> Yeah, I will be honest too, very vulnerable here on the pod. A couple weeks ago, one of my Uber Eats drivers, um, I like got the food delivered. Like he, my house is, I guess, confusing to find, but on the delivery, I say, go to whatever, whatever, whatever. I almost doxed myself, go to whatever building. So I told him to go and then I was outside waving. I was like, hi over here drives past me and goes to the whatever entrance. So I go to the other entrance. I'm like, hi, I'm right here. Like I'm standing in front of the car. I'm like, hi, stop. So he misses me again, goes to the front entrance again. I go like this. I'm like, hello. I'm screaming in my neighborhood at nine o'clock at night. Then he drives past me again. I'm like, what are you doing? So I chase the car down for my fucking Uber Eats like a crazy person. I like roll my ankle. I'm so mad. I'm in my underwear outside running after this fucking Uber Eats driver because I know it's the car. And I go, roll your window down. Hello, hello. I'm chasing after him. And he's like, I, it says right here, I went to the wrong building. It's must have been the wrong building. I, I don't know. And I was like, well, I was waving at you over there and the building's right there actually. So um, no offense, thanks. I, I appreciate it. Uh, which I know like isn't great, Like, but I was just mad. I was like, you walked past me three times and then drove off and wouldn't stop your car. Like I just, now my food is cold. So I got a refund. Oop. For, um, 
my mental stability because I was not pleased. I don't know, honestly. Can't remember. I think it was like Wendy's. I think Marshall got me. That was the problem too, because Marshall got it for my birthday. Like it was my birthday dinner. And this guy was like playing in my face. I was like, uh. Like not on my birthday, not you trying it. So like Marshall ordered it and Marshall doesn't live here. He lives in a different country. So like Marshall's texting me like, go outside, go outside. And I'm like, I'm outside. Just irritating. I wonder if this is a thing. I was hoping it was a gem, but fine, I guess. There's nothing in here. Yeah, it was a lot. It was just not a great day. That was not a that was not a great mental day. Oh, I don't know if you guys pay attention to you know the 500 things I put on social media a day, but I've been really wanting this like really cute farm game. Um, so I messaged the developers and they gave me it, which was like, I love life. I love you, Jesus. I thought it was so nice. Um, it's called, it's one of the Wonderful Life games, like the Harvest, the company that used to make Harvest Moon, but they now can't call it Harvest Moon. Um, oh, sorry, um, Story of Seasons or whatever. It's called Wonderful Life Story of Seasons or whatever shit, but I've been wanting it for a while and it's never gone on sale. And then I just like, I don't know, video games are expensive to me. That's why like, that's why I need to rebuy Final Fantasy 6. 16 and Tekken 8 so we can stream both and I don't want to do it so I was like can you guys please like be a sister and see if you can send me this code and they did which was very nice no literally same I'm still getting paid like some PayPal pay and fours are hitting I'm like what is this for even I think it was for my new camera. Mind you, they just released today a new camera and I just bought this camera two months ago. Did we get the, okay, we did. A cab. Oh, you you want to know a good piece of advice? Um, I was I met at um, at PAX. First of all, if this man is out there, and you are listening to this vod, if you are out there, this very kind gentleman. I know you have a wife, but if you are out there, sir. 
Anyways, um, I met this attorney at PAX. Like, he works as an attorney or, like, a lawyer or whatever. And he was, like, giving us, like, useful life tips. First of all, so hot. Like, if you're out there, please. I am available for you and only you. <laughs> Not me being Ariana Grande and freaking... Like, literally met his wife and I was so nice to her. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> Anyways, um... He was giving us, like, useful tips, and he was, like, helping me set up my panel or whatever, and, like, he was super sweet and giving me, like, great advice, but, um, he was, like, talking to, like, the other guys I was hanging out with. I was hanging out with Joey and, like, all of these other, like, bros. They were, like, asking questions, and he was, like, if a cop ever stops you for, like, speeding or something, and, um, whatever... And the cop stops you and is like, whatever, whatever, something about how fast you were going. You go, no, officer, how fast was I going? And then he has to tell you and clock it. Ooh! Because you know how they always try to pull you and lie to you. Ooh! Because then they have to spill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought that was a good piece of advice. When they're like, do you know how fast you were going or whatever bullshit? So they usually like start with that or whatever. Just like clock them and be like, no officer, how fast was I going? Please. If it were me, I'd probably get locked up, but you know. I was listening to an attorney and the attorney was, uh, I thought it was a nice piece of advice. Hi, Victoria. Thanks. This outfit has gone through the years. She's had an evolution. Yeah, I remember my dad used to tell me that the cops would, like, sit on the border of our town to meet their quota. So he was like, I'm never leaving. We're not going anywhere on the 31st or 30th of every month because they're going to pull me over just to hit their quota. You flash the cop your boobs. So true. That'd be me if I had real boobs. I mean, these are my real boobs. Aha! The Laura Croft clip. Aha! Um, excuse me, sir. You like girls? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. Not gonna lie, I kinda hate these detective levels. <laughs> nah, I'm really not live laugh loving, I'm gonna be honest. It just feels like a really weird change of pace from the other levels. But you know, shout out to anybody that does, I guess. say basic I just like I, it's genuinely just a weird change like I think every other level 
Except for maybe the baking. But the baking levels are still fast paced. These are so slow. And like the interacting is weird. And it's a cute idea. Maybe I'll like it long term, but I don't know. I'm not really loving, I must say. Yes, very point and click flash game. Yeah, like if it was its own thing, but mixed in with the other levels, it's just kind of whack. I guess. I mean, I'm entitled to my own opinion. I just, like, don't really love it. Oh, I don't need answers, baby. I'm trying to play this game for myself. I don't need your backseating. Thank you, though, for the help. I'm surprised there's not, like, an a spacey level. I guess, like, the power levels are the most. Mm. Can we jump? What the? The way there's literally a bomb is kind of crazy. But... Just casually the bomb. Ah! Oh, that's just rotted. You guys think you're a jokester. <laughs> but we're still missing a gem. Oh. Okay, but who was outside the window? I would be the person outside the window and I'd be gagged by the bomb. I'd be like, ah! Case closed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The way I'm getting these first try every time today, in my mind. But like, did we look out the window before we threw the bomb outside? Like maybe just like, maybe just a quick checkup. Would be nice. Thank God, and that and that fraud. He doesn't need any more games. End him. Yeah, right? I feel like there could have been like a cute thing like fashion or photographer peach or something. That would have been really cute. The way the cow print is still my favorite. Oh, that's really cute. Not the shit brown one. What the? Not the poopy ribbon. Who pooped on the ribbon? It like looked like it had green in it. Like, what are we doing? Oh, 
Oh, we can get a close-up of all the lurks. I really would have loved some inclusions of more pink to these. Like this really could, could you imagine if the brown on this outfit was pink cow print? That would literally gag the girls. That'd be so hot. I do like this, but something about it, I want like a different color. What's like a recognizable? Mm. Could have been a pink scarf. I don't know though. I like, like, I don't need all of them to be pink, right? Like, I don't think like, oh, but I don't know, so, like I needed a little more. Like I feel like one or two outfits should have been pink. One or two more outfits. Like just like this, like the introduction of like the pink scarf, like that's fine to me. And like this I think is fine, like the pink feather in the hat. But some of them have like no pink at all. This one doesn't need any pink. This one is perfect. Like, this could have had some pink. This definitely could have had pink. Like, this could have been insane. This is fine. It's detective. This is fine, too. Would have done a pink earring, actually. To go with the pink lip. Well, purple to me is an unlucky color. Anytime I wear purple, something bad happens. But I, like, never wear purple. I don't know why, it just is that way. Okay, these two are fast paced levels, so. No, it very much is. I really love it. I feel like this one's gonna be a little harder. What I also don't like, I know I'm 100%ing and like, yeah, whatever, like, kiki, whatever. I don't like that the second levels are shorter and there's less to collect. Cause that just like, cuts the playtime shorter for me. Like the game is already short and you're gonna make it shorter? Like what? On the deck. Basically a phantom thief, yeah. Oh god. Here I go. Oh! Oh! I missed my flight. <laughs> Girl! Okay. Oh, this is giving Castle in the Sky tease. I can't believe Castle in the Sky is the first ever Studio Ghibli movie. And it being the best. I know that's right. Oh, 
Monopoly Man. Nothing could have mentally prepared me for when Bayonetta had a blue lip or a yellow lip in that recent game. Bayonetta 3 with the yellow lip. That was just. Well, that was Kamiya's fault. I wasn't done. Why can't I go back? Why would they do that? The Sorry, a game was a flop. I literally hated that game. I was so excited and then it just like was like, I don't know, maybe I'll have to revisit it. I just was not, I didn't love it. It did not go with the color scheme. She was giving Seraphine and then they slapped a yellow lip on her, Brian. Like why? That was so random. I feel like I kind of need to go back and play Bayonetta 3 again and just revisit the trauma. Oh yeah, that came out, that came, the Cereza Demon game came out fast. The gameplay was tens, like probably the best gameplay in Bayonetta history. I hate that everybody shits on Bayonetta 2. Like, what is your problem? That's like my favorite Bayonetta game. Little one. Oh, really? We should replay it when it comes to 10 years old. I always promise that I'm gonna, well, I don't know. I promise a lot of things. A lot of people like my Bayonetta content, but I'm like, was it really that good? I guess people just like really like Bayonetta. Got it. What is ZSS? I will say, I think you just come across specifically as invested in Bayonetta, so the viewing experience was a lot more, oh, this B knows what's up. T, 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 T. I mean, I was really excited for three, and then we all saw what happened. 
But like, also like part of it too is like, if I want to, I need to be in the mood to play the game. You know what I mean? Like, Bayonetta is such like a, it's such a good, come on. It, oh, come on. <laughs> don't sass me, Peach. Um, It's such a good game, but I don't want to like, I don't know. I don't want to like wear myself out over something that I love, you know? I know some people can play Bayonetta till like the game, the cows come home, but like, I don't know, I get bored. I need to switch things up. I think like the break we're having right now, like I haven't played Bayonetta one, two or three in a very long time. I think that makes for better content. Because when we go back and we experience it, it's going to be good. Because I haven't played Bayonetta 3 since it came out. Got it. Do I think Bayonetta 4 is going to be good that Kamiya left? I don't even know if Bayonetta 4 is going to exist. One step at a time. One step at a time. What? I thought I could jump in there. Okay, okay, okay. Less is more, less is more. Well, I always have wanted to play Bayonetta, because can't you play as John in every single game, but like you have to beat the game first? And isn't it harder as John? Whoa, Peach. No problem. Oh, great. Another issue with Bayonetta 3. We can't play as John in 3. How lovely. Don't piss me off. What's over here? I already got the thing. I'll never understand her death in... I just realized it's been like it's been like a year or so and a couple months and some change. I just realized in the recent Bayonetta game, because like, I don't know what came over me to just realize this. Jean and Bayonetta are dead. Who thought that was a good idea? Okay, yeah, in the sense that, like, she got resurrected or whatever, but in reality, Kamiya won wanted John dead. If it wasn't for us, she'd still be toast. Fuck it, that bitch, that fucking ugly developer man would kill her in every game. Leave her alone! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Less is more, less is more. The subspace emissary tease. Oh, and the mother. Give me the gem at the end of the level. I better not have to collect it on my own. Another day. The way I could play Bayonetta for the rest of my life, but I still to this day, anytime you guys say Rosa, I have no idea who that woman is. <laughs> like, I know who she is, but it just catches me off guard. <laughs> No, I know who she is, you guys, but I just always get, like, whiplash. I'm like, Cereza? Jean? Luca? Redactyla? Anybody else? <laughs> I, the way she's introduced in 2, and I always say Bayonetta, is my, Bay Bayonetta 2 is my favorite game, and I just forget that she exists. Uh-oh. Guys, I'm not, I don't have anything against her. You're turning the story on me. You're acting like I don't like her. Stop it. Stop turning the narrative on me. Not too much. Your cleats are getting stuck in my corneas. Yeah, it is on tape. Fuck you, Rosa! <laughs> Put that on the Bayonetta subreddit. Oh, they're gonna get me. Oh, they're gonna get me. <laughs> Yeah, why wasn't Rosa playable in three? She also was there for like five seconds and then disappeared. Like, huh? Yes. My little Kendall? <laughs> yes, it did. I didn't think I was gonna be late. Okay, but what if, hear me out, when we put together the funds for me to get a Bayonetta cosplay so we can restream Bayonetta as Bayonetta? Boom! 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 Let's raise the funds, y'all. Let's get wild. If we did Bayonetta 2, because that is my favorite, definitely Bayonetta 2. I would wear the bob. 
I think if I add it to my throne, I can make it so you guys can, like, donate a specific amount of money. So you don't, like, have to buy it all in total. But I think there's a way for me to be, like, you can pay a certain amount. I'll put that in a Jean cosplay on there. Because I do not have any... I don't, I don't have shit for Jean. Y'all... Y'all should have seen me in 2018. I was always wearing the Kris Jenner bob, actually. That fucking... I remember, that was the joke of Providence Drag. I would always pull out that fucking pussycat wig. And I would always wear it on the town. And I remember... Me, Onyx, Zane, Sasha, all of us together, we were like, this is our good luck wig. This is the good luck wig. And it was the it was the black pixie cut. I don't know where she went. I think I lost her in the fire. That's really sad. <laughs> but that was my good luck wig. <laughs> but I would wear her down. No, I haven't. Maybe we could just do like a movie viewing of the lore of that game. Oh. So I can figure out what's the teeth with that. Because I really cannot play that game. There's something about the gameplay that does not scratch my brain. Easy. Easy. So where do we think this gem is? No, no, nobody said that, no! Stop! There it is. <laughs> um, no thank you. <laughs> you ate that. <laughs> Where's my phone? I'm a boomer. You guys want to know my real age? <gasps> my boobs just farted. <laughs> okay, old. That's why I'm fighting with those old women on fucking Facebook. I'm older than you, so what now? So you're taller and older? This is a good trick for when you're in drag or cosplay with makeup. Lick the glove, and then it works on your phone. Um, actually, probably gonna take this off. Wait, I have a whip crack. <laughs> I do want to get a bayonet um, tattoo as well. I want to get um, the wings of Madama Butterfly. I think that would be a really pretty tattoo.
Oh wait, something about this doesn't tell me this is the right- This cosplay for Bayonetta 2? Being only $80? Usually it's like 200. That's why I was like, let's make a GoFundMe. Wait, what? Something- I don't know about this. Well, it is from a reliable cosplay place. The jacket just looks very sheer. And it still looks good. I would say it looks good, not the best. It doesn't look high quality. This other place, though, is, like, Scammer Central. Like, I ordered a cosplay from them, and they are not great. The other place, though, is a good place. I think this is the only reliable store for a Banana 2 cosplay. What is your favorite? Like, in the chat, let's do it right now. What's your favorite Bayonetta? One, two, or three? Oh, I know two is your favorite, because you like a good MILF. <laughs> Sorry, that was so... <laughs> I say that and my entire community is like... I am fully, like, MILF vibes. Fully. I'm speaking, like, in terms of design. Does that change your answers? Still two. Two still. Oh, not too much, Peach. You think so? Three has the worst design? Mm. I might agree. What's your favorite John design? Design wise. Does anyone give it up for John and Bayonetta 3? I love. Why is like the chat. Oh, because the chat re reacts to numbers. <laughs> My bad. Chat is being spammed, but whatever. I like her in three. I think two is her best. I, I really love something about that pattern in three and then the green eyeshadow. Something about that. I loved that green eyeshadow.
Oh, there's a cosplay for Lost Demons. Oh, that's really cute. It's like bondage wear Bayonetta. Can we relax? <laughs> Oh wait, this one's better. Hold on. I can't find a Jean cosplay. I was gonna put both on my throne, but I guess it just doesn't exist. Not too much on my sister. Wait, why are there no Jean cosplays, like, ever? What the heck? What is your problem? Oh my god, there's, like, no Jean cosplays anywhere. I'm, like, looking on the Reliable website, and the only, like, website... There are Jean cosplays or like the shady websites. No. Does this mean I have to wear dark hair? What if I'm just blonde Bayonetta? <laughs> no. I would do the dark hair. Okay, yeah, the Jean cosplays are gone. They do not exist. That is so sad. Oh, no one GAF about Luca designs. He's just a man. <laughs> I can do edit include shipping enable crowdfunding yes enable crowdfunding proceed yes enable crowdfunding proceed yes there's also a stellar blade cosplay on there be mindful Okay, they're all at the top of my throne. So that's an option for the next couple months. Oh God. Okay. Why is everybody saying, oh? What do you mean, oh? What is the problem? Oh. <laughs> the grinder logo. <laughs> finish this level, right? Perfect. One level left. Let's go. Yes, I'm going to do that today. I would like to get a little snacky, though, before we do that.
I also have to like get hook up my PS5, so that'll take me a hot minute, but we will do it today. Oh, the music here is bopping. Thompson. I'm good. Yeah. Meeted the twins, so true. Bree and Nikki Bella. Sorry, Garcia. <laughs> I'm not here. Wait, can we wall jump? Oh, doesn't matter. Oh, I fell. Oh! It kind of is already. Kind of gives that one Mario Kart map. Oh, I gagged them a bit. The way I still have to finish Persona 3. Ugh. We'll get there. I was enjoying it. Oh, not too much. Not too much now. There's definitely a secret over here. <laughs> the lip bite emo, Ross, please. Oh yeah, he's so cute. Love a French twink. Where's Ken? <laughs> Game over, you can't say that. Hi, Mercy. Stop! Is it? What does it mean in France? And when your accounts get banned and you lose all of your fucking subscriber shit, you get locked out? Don't blame me, mama! What was that? <laughs> that was the wrong command. I meant this. Wait, so did we ever decide, like, what do, like, Brit, do the Brits get to say that word on stream and just do what, get to say whatever they want? Like, if I walked into a Brit stream and I just... He was just cranking the F word about smoking. Is that okay? You guys might be safe this time. Be mindful. Oh, I have to like 
distract him. Oh, that was really close. It's okay, Marshall just woke up, so he doesn't even know what's going on. <laughs> yes. Marshall, I keep seeing gem and I keep thinking of your dog. I'm like, I gotta collect this gem, and I'm like, oh my god, hi, Marshall's dog. Oh, oh! Gagged it. I can't get over how literally every time my dog, because she sprained her ankle, my dog Becky, she goes to the doctor, they kept calling her fat. Stop! She's not fat! She's not obese! That's not nice! The way you can tell she's sad too, the video I posted, she's so happy. When she's at the doctor's, she looks sad. I'll show you this picture I got this morning on my dog. She looks so sad. Oh, this is a picture of Monty. Here, I'll show you the picture of what my dog usually looks like when she's in a good mood. Let me turn the brightness down so you can see. I posted it on Twitter this morning, so if you saw it. Look it, she looks happy. She looks very lively, very enjoyable. She's very pleased with her life. Look at look look at this picture of her after everyone keeps calling her fat. Look how sad she looks. Stop calling her fat. I've had enough of the body shaming of my adorable dog. If she is a larger dog, then so what? She's got more cushion for the boys when she goes to play group. And the boys like a thick girl. I know it well. Leave my dog alone, you doctors. I don't care if she is of a certain weight. Watch your mouth. Don't speak to Becky Booby redacted my last name like that. Sorry, I'm very passionate about it. About the Demi Lovato. Hi, fatty. <laughs> That's literally the doctors to my dog. Stop. I'm spitting all over the place. Oh, mama, I'm spitting, honey. <laughs> what did Beyonce say? Something, something, Betty, Spetty, Spaghetti, Bobetti, Plain Jane, Spaghetti. Lock it. <laughs> Stop eating! That's why you're fat! <laughs> so nasty. <laughs> I mean, like, Abby is a nasty woman, but... <laughs> Stop eating! That's why you're fat! Fatty, 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 fatty. Oh my god. They got her together. You would. Again, my chat is filled with stoners. <laughs> Stop. 
Sometimes when the chat is dead, it's not even because the chat is dead. It's because everybody's either rolling a fatty or smoking a blunt. <laughs> Sorry. Girl, not during the live. Not you with the Nemesis Network playing while you're getting the whoopee. I don't know if that's smart. Oh my God. I thought this was a classy party. There's a third option. I'm just too stoned to type. Well. Hi, <laughs> <I> Giles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I thought I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I need that. I need that clip of Eureka going, oh, wow. Someone write that down, write that down. Um, so what now? I thought the chicken was lovely. I think if I kill them, I get a star. So where's my present? Wait! Uh... There is definitely something I'm missing. But is your dog actually obese? No, you just saw her. Be nice. <laughs> I get very defensive. Does she look obese? <laughs> you just can't ask people if they're obese. It's not right. Oh god, not a running scene, it's over. I'm about to miss everything and its mother. Ooh! Please don't let me fail this level. I would like to do it in one go. Please don't put me through the trauma. Okay. So where's the ribbon? Oh. 
I think I missed the ribbon. I have faith the ribbon is here. The body is here. What's going on? No offense, this is unrelated to the cause, but how d how do gay people just eat tacos and be gay? Like, don't you like it in the butt? <laughs> Mama, those tops don't stay tops. Not when I'm around. How? <laughs> Sorry. Well. I don't know. I've never had a fucking taco. I don't like tacos. All that wet shit in my mouth. Get out of here. Eight burritos. I have two days in a week to cheat. <laughs> Fucking happy gift. Well, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I am so hormonal. I love to eat. I don't. I. I'm too booked. <laughs> don't i i don't just sex is so off my radar i don't even care don't even i'll eat whatever i want never i don't i don't even have sex so i don't even have to worry about doing all that not a moment of my life have i also just like thinking like Back in the day, you know, when I was a slut, like, just, like, planning your day around what you're going to eat because you're going to do a certain something, then douche, and then, like, do all of this cleaning. Oh, my God. Who has the fucking time? Oh, my God. Y'all want to get fucked that bad? Ugh, I can't. That is too... Is it ever that se I can't. <laughs> I don't... I don't... Don't... I'm... We can look at each other from across the room and you can do your business. I'll be over here. I'm over here. <laughs> we can sit in a room that there are no others and then you have fun. <laughs> I'm good. No, literally IBS down. Very matching conversation to the peach. <laughs> it's never the match. It's never a conversation that matches. Right? With like fiber. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that girl. Literally, like, Finn Balor, the, like, hottest man in the world to me, or Austin Theory, could be like, yeah, I want this down. And I'd be like, 
do you really want it? Like, do you really, like, really? Like, really? <laughs> Can we do something else? <laughs> Oh, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Are you winning? No, we're talking about um, the top bunk and the bottom bunk and the prepping it does for a certain day in someone's life that they would like to do a certain something. It all links back to, I mean, Peach is a top. So, I mean, we've been new this. So where is the ribbon? Listen, I am being a little dramatic. Like, obviously, I understand. Like, I'm not being, like, that serious. I am playing. But. This area of my life. I'm playing video games every day. I'm streaming. I eat some food. I have a good night. And I go to bed. <laughs> I, 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 I spit in a bucket. And I call it a night. Smoke some weed, eat some food, and love all my friends. That's exactly it. So where is the gem? I mean the ribbon. Is it through here? I wasn't even in his range. Don't even try it. Don't do too much. So, speaking of something completely different, um, so can we all, like, get together and agree that Euphoria should just be canceled? Because, like, what are they even trying to do right now? <laughs> something, something, release, pushback. Like, I can't. Like... We're doing too much. We need to give it up, Delicious. They released a statement or something. It's like embarrassing. Well, not really. It's not alive really at all. T. Forty-year-old high schoolers. Like what? Oh, I saw something over here. Found ya. Period. Okay, we've got to finish the level now. Can't hide secrets on me, Nintendo. I'm too good. 
Was that a read? Yeah, that's not. No, literally same. Kirby and Mario Wonder. Those games do too much. I agree. We were just talking about that, Rachel. Yes, feminism, but why is everybody afraid of fem? Fem in in. Why is that so scary to everybody? Why is pink bad? Why is sexy bad? Why are boobs bad? Why is showing a little ass, a little little cooch, a little blonde moment, a little long hair, a little pussy? Like, why is that bad? I'm over it. It's so tired. What's wrong with a thigh high heel while you're fighting in battle? Why you gotta give all the girls kitten heels nowadays? Or a flat? Like we can have all types. Thanks, Ross. Thanks for coming in. It's done. Thank you. Thank you, she says. You are so welcome, mother. Tea. Oh, that's tea, actually. No, because that's tea, actually. No, because that's tea, actually. Oh, I mean clock it. I'm not going to say that, but like tea. <laughs> Our femboy twinks with fat booty valid. Yeah, very much so. She loves gay dick. Me, hello. Oh, I love Near Replicant. We streamed that forever ago. Those VODs are so old. I hope they're privated because I looked terrible. Why? I don't like that this game does that. Why do I have to use my currency? Like, that's not fair. Let me collect all of my sparkle gems. Well. Ah, okay. Wow. <sighs> this two FPS loading screen. <laughs> Not too much. Peach, 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 and Stella, how dare you two make a mess of my glorious plays? Clearly I under underestimated you. I suppose at this point I could call you rivals, which is mildly amusing to me. Despite your efforts, my preparations to build a ultimate stage and my ultimate strategy is well underway. Oh. Well, there's King from Tekken. I just saw King from Tekken, girl. I 
Minotaur ass. Spot lion. Because he has spots and he's a lion. Great name. Very creative. What's the gimmick here? Oh. Okay, I got it, you guys. He's a spotlight and he doesn't have spots. We got it, girl. How the F am I supposed to objectively do this in the best way? Why does he take like five hits? What is the point in changing the level structure like that? What? Is that not avoidable? Don't know about this one, Nintendo. That's how I yawned, because I'm bored. Um. You can back it up a little bit. Literally, what is happening? What? Oh. Oh, I'm aware of what to do. I'm not thrilled.
Okay. Wow. Thanks, doll parts. For a lack of a better explanation, that was terrible. <laughs> What's the fucking challenge here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I got like doing too much. You're doing too much because you know you're about to get banished. Objects. I didn't agree to that in my contract. Um, definitely the ice skater look. Why do they sometimes like jump away like that? That's weird. I don't think I'm beating it. Well done, Mama. Knuckles, thank you for resubscribing. Oh? I just keep jumping into them by accident. I'm trying. It's harder than it looks. Please. Okay. Oh, 
don't touch me. I'm fine over here. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. No. I'm not hungry. Not the gingham print. My gingham print. I'm not sure, I didn't see it. Excuse me, oh my God, is this a detective one? Oh, get the detective one out of the way. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm mentally not here. Yeah, there it is, but. Showtime. Well, I don't think they think, I don't think they thought that far ahead. So boring. Talking about it earlier, it's just boring. Okay, actually the two FPS loading screen, hello. Yeah, wait, what are we gonna do for a boss here? Like Ooh. actually, what do you mean? We're gonna do a fight here. What? We need five stars and one ribbon. I agree, let's grow. I think the structure of like being able to switch to the outfits for the like objective and stuff. I don't, it just, the detective levels are like so just like bare bones and like not, I don't know, I'm like bored. Tommy clocking his tea. I'm nodding like I understand, but I'm not so sure I do. So what's the point of the level if everything is gonna, I just, okay. Does the game feel like it's lacking in certain aspects? I'm gonna be honest, Rachel, I won't know until I finish the game. Like I just like, I cannot give a in-depth review or anything until the game is done. The central door will open once the exhibits of the shared element are in the proper order. You must already have shown impressive skill to get this far. I'm positive you can solve this. Good luck, Detective Sparkla. Huh? Mm. Mm.
Where are the gems? Yeah, this is stupid. How do we advance the game, but also make it not interesting at all? This right here. wants to swipe for me to get adventure or Acheron. JK. I do actually really want her though. I'm trying to do the events and stuff to hopefully get my pity. My boobs are. Okay, Star Rail. Her, like, fucking being able to instantly kill everything is crazy. Mm -hmm. ah. If we do switch, I need to change my outfit. So I'm not very comfortable, I'm gonna be honest. I would put it under Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Oh, I think Treasure Tracker Captain Toad is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and there's no, oh, and there's no, not a single bad thing about those games or that game for that matter. So, that's my opinion though. Again, my opinion is not a fact, it's just an opinion. It's not factual or, you know, everybody can form their own. They're just opinions. Fuck! I feel like you have to clock the spook of all these guys to get a gem. Because why else would this be happening? Like, what is going on?
like literally. I still don't understand, like that's four, that's three, this is two, this is four, what's one? One is right here, like what do we do? I don't understand. Is there somewhere I'm supposed to input that code? Do I do it in order? I guess. Okay, that is what it is. Where are we supposed to get the gems though? I've done literally everything and they're nowhere. Do we just get all five at the end? Like what? To make the game go longer. That was just the first one. Why would it not be this one? saw trap i mean that one saw trap that girl put her arms in that glass box when she just could have just not done that in saw three or two mm -hmm. and it would like the saw blades were like cutting her she was trying to take her arms out when she literally could have survived if she just didn't put her arms in <laughs> there was no reason for her to do it why did she do that At least put one arm in. Why'd you do both? I'm not a fan of the Saw movies, but that one is probably the best one. I still haven't seen that new one. So like, it's like a prequel or whatever. A Pisces wouldn't do that shit. You're crazy. Literally no reason for her to do that. It was wild. What is the other route you... <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I, uh, so terrible. I'm like, I just can't. I'm leaving. Gear. It's the popcorn sign. You know what movie show I really liked when I was younger? I had no business watching. Yes. Was where that meme comes from of that um, TikTok audio where it goes, damn it, bitch, I said let go of me. I said let go. That's High School of the Dead. It's an anime about like these big titty girls that are like in a zombie apocalypse and just so ridiculous and funny. I loved mm -hmm. it. That never got a sequel or anything. The way it left off on a cliffhanger and then never continued made me so mad as a kid. They're like, we're getting to the mall and we're gonna escape and then the show never continued. I was like, ah! Yeah, the booby sniper rifle scene, that was camp. Loved it. Or when the, all the girls were in the bathtub and the guy's like, oh! Just a random fan service. Hi, Gonzalez. Huh. Yeah, that was weird, ah. but... What a lovely level this has been. <sighs> just beautiful. Just absolutely just... I'm really glad we played that. Really am. I'm gonna remember that. I, I'm gonna remember this. Mm -hmm. Case closed. Thank you so much. Very good tea, very. Well, I played on God mode, so the, the Melania fight was pretty easy for me. The green screen chromoing my hair. Do you mind? Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, get out of my face. I never want to see you again. Madam Grape, lock this guy up again. I don't want to see him. Throw him out of the hotel. Security. Oh. Why? Why? Why are all the accents purple? Why? Just why? Why? I understand the boss's color theme is like purple, but imagine this with a light blue accent or a white accent. Imagine this with a different color. I actually like this one. Imagine this with an orange accent. Nice. Great, uh, great gowns, beautiful gowns. I just... Like, why, why, why purple? She is Peach, not fucking Waluigi. I don't get it. Sorry, I'm sorry to get like this. Just very passionate. Oh. But lovely colors we are serving. If I thought this was poop color before, this color is dookie. That like lemony greenish brown. Oh my god. I thought this was a classy party. Um anyways. I like the one we have. After the detective level. That was terrible. Were you here watching me do that level? Did you just watch me suffer? That was terrible. That's a cookie point. That's that's a cookie point. We take the game off. That's a cookie. We just Not not a good not a good look. Not, whoa. What a beautiful floor we have here. Yeah, guys, I appreciate the uh, uh, the tips and the advice in the chat, but I'm not looking for back seating. It might say it in the tags, but um, I've also mentioned that three times today, so I, I like don't need like the. There's another this. There's another that. Um, yeah, I'm cool. But yeah, thank thank you for your input. Thank you for the note. Thank you for the note. So next stream we'll be doing this, and then I guess the final boss, and then the final. Floors. Um, I still have a, another look. There's another just with a ugly purple accent though. Um. <laughs> oh, that's not. Oh, that's not. Um. God, I'm like, my stomach hurts. We are still gonna keep streaming, but this is gonna be the end of the VOD for the Peach VOD, because I have one cosplay left provided by Guy Winter, who also provided us the game. So shout out to you, Guy Winter. Thank you so much. Um, I have a cosplay of Peach for the last stream. So I am gonna end the VOD here on the fourth floor. Um, but yeah, I think we finished the game next stream, I believe. Cause yeah, what? That's the second mermaid level, then the ice skating second level, then the kung fu level, and the power suit level. Then in the basement, we have to do all the challenges. 
And then we have Final Boss. So I am sad that it is coming to an end because I am enjoying it, even though some of the levels are like, girl, why are we doing this? But um, yeah, it is kind of sad. I don't want it to end. I really wish it was longer. And I wish there were more outfits. I don't like that there's only 10 outfits and then they called it quits. Um, that's Princess Peach. They could have quite literally just used her looks from Mario Odyssey and I would have been fine. Like the traveling peach, the beach peach, the winter outfit peach, the kimono peach look. I would have been pleased. They could have made those their own fucking levels, bitch. I would have not have been mad. I would have been like, yes, work. Maybe it is post game. I don't know. Someone said there's post game, so we'll do like the finale, and then we'll do like post game, depending on what the post game is. But I don't think it'll be like a juicy stream like these have been. But yeah, if you're on YouTube, make sure you're supporting the channel. Either subscribing here on Twitch, uh, coming over to Twitch.tv/NemesisNetwork, or subscribing on YouTube to keep the lights on and get more drag content and looks and serving. Tina gorgeousness. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next final part for Princess Peach. Okay, so I am going to quickly change so we can play Honkai Star Rail. And I am going to remove the breasts. I'm gonna go downstairs to have a surgery. <laughs> a very quick surgery. Um Everybody wave bye to the boobs. <laughs> Me next. <laughs> Can I have them for a slight subscription and donation? Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go switch into something a little more comfier, get a little snacky poo, and we will be seated for the Star Rail, um, whatever. <laughs> so I'll be right back, you guys. Get your snacks, go to the bathroom, do whatever, I'll be back.